Hello everyone, welcome back to Student Life. My name is Maisie and today I'm here to talk to you about recycling. So currently we are in a bit of an environmental crisis and recycling is just one of the ways that we can help reduce our impact on the environment and help our planet. So recycling is important because it conserves resources, reduces the waste that we send to landfill and also saves energy from not having to produce so many raw products. There's a lot of things that you can recycle in Lincoln that you might not know about and that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. Excuse me if I'm looking at my notebook, there is a lot of information in this video. So let's start with Morrisons. Morrisons have plastic recycling points that accept plastic bags, bread bags, plastic wrappers and ring joiners from multi-packs of cans and bottles, uh, plastic wrappers from toilet roll, kitchen roll, bubble wrap, all those different types of things. So if you have any plastic you need to recycle, you can take it to Morrisons and they'll accept it and recycle it for you because you can't recycle those things at home. Another shop that has a recycling scheme is Lush. If you buy any products from Lush, you can take them back to them and they will recycle them for you because again, you can't do it at home and they accept their black tubs, bottle tops, lipstick tubes and powder makeup containers to be recycled at their stores. And Lush also offers a lot of zero waste products so you can avoid the plastic to begin with, which is an even better alternative to recycling so they offer things like shampoo bars, conditioner bars, naked uh, shower gels they come in like a bar and soaps as well just a lot of plastic free products that avoid the waste to begin with. Body Shop is another one that allows you to recycle their products back at their stores so they accept empty and clean plastic bottles, tubs, tubes and pots from their products so if you've used up some of their products and you want to get rid of the containers then you can take them back to the store and recycle them there. Boots is another store with a recycling scheme so if you wear contact lenses you can recycle them at their recycling point in the opticians part of Boots on the high street which is another good way to reduce waste if you do wear contacts. That is all the stores I could find that have recycling schemes but now I've just got a few products to talk to you about that you can recycle in and around Lincoln. So inhalers, a lot of people don't know that you can actually recycle your inhalers so if you're asthmatic and you have an inhaler then you can recycle them at Boots Chemist, Co-op Chemist and L Rowland & Co which are all in and around Lincoln somewhere and it is part of the complete the cycle scheme where you can return inhalers to be recycled because they're actually made from a plastic that is one of the most suited to recycling. Unfortunately they don't accept all types of inhalers to be recycled but there is a full list on their website at completethecycle.eu and so far the scheme has recycled 1.2 million inhalers which is insane and that has saved CO2 emissions of the equivalent of taking 5,199 cars off the road which obviously is a really good impact on the environment. Environment. So if you use inhalers, once you're finished with them, it might be a really good idea to recycle them at the chemist. The next one is the Walker's Recycling Scheme. So City Hall Reception in Lincoln and also the Tesco on Rugby Road and possibly Morrison's. I've heard people say that there is a crisp packet recycling point at Morrison's now. They accept all brands of crisp packets and multi-pack bags, not just Walker's, like all kinds of crisps for recycling and you can take them to the City Hall reception or the Tesco on Rugby Road and they will recycle all your crisp packets for you because that is again something that cannot be recycled at home. Another one is a charity recycling scheme for glasses run by VisionAid and they have drop-off points at Specsavers and Dixon's which are both on the high street and they will take old pairs of glasses and put them to another use so they can be reused or repurposed or recycled to save them just going in landfill waste. And finally there is also a recycling centre on Great Northern Terrace which is about a 20 minute walk from campus and there is a full list on the website about all the kind of products you can take there. It is a 20 minute walk away from campus but if you can get there then you can recycle most things there that you can't recycle at home. So lastly I just have a few bits of advice about reducing your waste and your impact on the environment as a whole. So firstly definitely try and buy zero waste or packaging free where possible. So things like getting your fruit and veg without a packet, trying switching to a shampoo bar instead of plastic bottles of shampoo, just little things like that that will have a huge impact on the environment, they really add up. Second would be to reuse things. So if you have any empty glass jars or takeout containers, instead of just putting them in the bin or in the recycling, you could reuse them. So you could use them to store things in your room. I know student rooms always need more storage. So there's probably something you can do with your glass jars or your takeout containers to reuse them. Another thing is that you can avoid disposable items. So you can bring your own coffee cup with you instead of using a disposable one. You could bring some cutlery with you. That's one thing I've always got in my bag. I've always got my coffee cup and I've always got a little bamboo set of uh, cutlery 
cutlery that I just use whenever I'm out so I don't need to take any plastic knives and forks. Another thing you could do would be to buy second hand rather than buying things new so go charity shopping. That's also a really good way of finding a bargain so you don't have to spend a load of money on a new item of clothing or something for your house. You can usually find it quite cheap in a charity shop which is always really satisfying because you know you're saving money. Also you can donate old things to charity so if you've got clothes that you don't fit into anymore or that you don't want anymore um, you can donate them to charity, you could swap them with friends, you could sell them. Rather than just throwing your things away and putting them in landfill, it's just a really good alternative to, again, reduce your waste and your impact on the environment. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Recycling, again, is really important and especially with how our environment is at the moment, we all need to be doing what we can to look after it and conserve it for future generations. So again, recycling and reducing our waste in general is just one of the ways we can do that. Subscribe to the channel for more more videos about student life and student well-being and also go check out the blog as well I'm sure there's a lot more content on there about the environment if you're interested I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time bye